All right, in this video, we're going to show you how to utilize the map gas torch to solder pipe together. In this case, it's going to be a section of half inch copper ACR tubing. Uh, we're going to have two swages. I will show a regular solder, and then we'll do an inverted solder on this one to show capillary action. Uh, and we're just going to be utilizing uh, this Laco flux. There are other types of soldering paste out there, but this Laco paste seems to be the best one to promote wetting. Uh, cleaning for the joint, which is really not the flux, it's to prevent oxidation, although it does do some cleaning on the joint as well. And we'll be soldering with 95.5. Uh, if you're using a stationary water line for an ice machine or something that's not going to be moving around, you probably can get away with just some 95.5 solder, 95% tin, 5% antinomony. Uh, if you're using something that's connected to a pump or something that's going to vibrate, you might want to trade that solder in for uh, some Stay Bright that has 4% uh, silver in it. Uh, silver bearing solder. So uh, it's also looks about the same, just a little shinier. Uh, to clean, we're going to use some abrasive cloth. Uh, it's a little different than paper. It's just emery cloth. And I'll take a small section and I'll clean the uh, male part of the tubing. And I'm going to insert into the suede socket and I'll clean up about an eighth of an inch above the diameter of the pipe. So if it's a half inch pipe, I'll go up an eighth of an inch above that. So that'll be about five eighths uh, worth of sanding on either side, and I don't want to touch it. The oil from your skin will keep the solder from uh, sticking, uh, and it will allow for maybe a leak. If I have the swages and a brush that's the correct diameter, like this half inch tubing brush, I can clean the inside of the swages with the brush here on that. And then I'm going to go ahead and use the Laco Flux. This one comes with a brush in the can. And you also can follow the link if you'd like to purchase it below. And I'm going to pipe in there, lock it into my swage block, and then insert the male into the female and give it a little twist twist will allow the flux to go around and then I'm going to go ahead and clean the other end and get that ready as well. And I'm going to do both joints at the same time. I'm going to ignite the torch, watch the flux, the flux will turn clear and when it goes clear a little bit of smoke will rise, that lets me know that I've hit the correct temperature. This flux 95.5 will melt uh, between 3 and 400 degrees, really closer to 385 and it will flow a little bit warmer than that. So I don't only want it to melt, I want it to flow and then when it flows the capillary action, the heat will draw the solder to the front by capillary action and then when I go up to the top joint, the capillary action will come up and go into the swage joint. So it'll be a quick process. So I'll ignite the torch. I'll heat the tubing first so the tubing expands into the swage. Once I see the smoke, I'll put the solder to the back. I'm using only the amount of solder. This is about the size of the tubing. And then I can go up and do the same thing up here. So if I got half inch tubing, I'm going to use a half inch amount of solder. And that capillary action drew it to the front. And the best thing to do is to let it cool naturally. So we can take a look here while it's cooling down. And uh, we got a little excess solder on one side, but you can take a look here and see that we are soldered up. And if you want to wipe it with a rag, you can, but that might shock it and cause the pipe to crack. It could become brittle. And uh, that's it. That's how you solder. Thank you.